Good afternoon, honorable guests, teachers, students, family, and friends. Welcome to MSOM Mississauga School of Music's 25th Anniversary Gala Concert. My name is Melina Go, and I was voluntold by our director, Jenny Go, to MC this event this afternoon. <laughs> so we would like to thank you for taking the time to celebrate this very special event with us. MSOM started off from very humble beginnings 25 years ago. Jenny, a determined immigrant from Shanghai, wife and mother of two, made steps to realize her dream of opening a professional music school. This had been her lifelong ambition even when she was a teen, when she barely had enough to eat. She wanted the school to offer music lessons taught by professionals with music degrees similar to the education she received in Shanghai Conservatory. And here we are 25 years later. She opened up her first branch in the spring of 1988, employee count of one. Today, MSOM has five locations with over 40 outstanding capable staff. In the midst of it all, her priority was, and still is, her two daughters present company included. Sometimes she still gives us too much priority. Um, I'd like to remind you to please turn off your cell phones. I almost forgot that. And uh, please turn off the flash uh, as it disturbs the performers. So our first performer is Margaret Lamb. She is exceptionally gifted both musically and academically. She won countless awards and scholarships at Peel Music Festival, Kiwanis Music Festival, North York Music Festival, Milton Music Festival, and York Region Music Celebration. She placed first and second at the Canadian Music Competition and competed in the national finals. She's a three-time Ormta gold medalist. And most recently, she won the Piano Excellence Trophy and Scholarship from York Region Music Celebration and will compete in the Ontario Provincials later this month. She's also a, gi a Peel gifted student, um, having been in the program since grade four, and has a 96% average in calculus, math, and physics. She received early admission to U of T and McMaster to study piano performance and life sciences. But most importantly, Margaret has a heart for others. She volunteers in the ER at Credit Valley Hospital, is a youth leader, and entertains patients on the piano. Although she plans to pursue a career in the medical field, music will continue to be a huge part of her life. So opening our concert is Margaret Lamb.
performers, Michelle Jin. Michelle just turned five years old and loves to practice piano every day. She's a very busy girl who also makes time for singing, dancing, reading, drawing, skiing, and skating. Michelle will be performing Waltz by Micah Parr. Okay, our next performer is our oh, their sisters, Angelica and Annabella. Angelica is six years old and Annabella is eight. When these sisters aren't making beautiful music together, they love to sing, dance, swim, and play soccer. They will be performing Minuet by Bach. Our next performer is Iris Hu. Iris is currently studying grade three piano. She enjoys reading and drawing in her spare time and sometimes decorates her piano books with her beautiful original designs. Iris will be performing On the Right Lines by Norton. Our next performer is Rocco Dado. Rocco is eight years old. He will be performing Sonatina in C major, the same piece he performed and won at the recent Kiwanis Music Festival. When he's not playing on the piano, he can be seen on the basketball court.
Stephanie is eight years old. She placed first and third at the past Peel Music Festival and is currently preparing for her grade three exams. Stephanie can also be seen practicing her jumps at the ice rink as she is also an accomplished figure skater. She placed in the top three in central Ontario. Stephanie will be performing five variations on a Russian folk song by Kabalevsky. The next performer is Philia Ramat. Philia is 10 years old and loves to play the guitar. From a young age, this determined young lady knew immediately that the guitar was going to be her instrument. Most recently, she won first place at the Kiwanis Music Festival and was selected to perform at their closing concert. She can be seen kicking up a storm on the soccer field when she's not plucking away at her guitar. Philia will be performing Waltz by Kata Ligert. Our next performer is Sabrina Tassone. Sabrina has competed and won at several vocal awards at Peel Music Festival and participates in local events like Spring Fest Music Showcase. She also attends Cothra Park Secondary School and majors in voice. Aside from voice, she also studies the piano. She will be performing Think of Me by Andrew Lloyd Webber. 
She'll be accompanied by Marat Maksutov. performer is Rachel Liu. Rachel was the recipient of the RCM gold medal for grade 7 piano. She is a three-time provincial finalist and placed first at the Kiwanis Music Festival, the Arts Richmond Hill Festival, and Peel Music Festival. In addition to her musical accomplishments, she is also a dancer and is on the honor roll at school. Rachel will be performing Ballad No. 1 by Chopin.
next performer is Charles Chu. Charles recently moved to Canada from Japan. This young maestro spends hours practicing the piano to fine tune his skills. Charles will be performing Sonatina in G by Dusik. Our next performer is Brendan Lee. Brendan's talents are not only limited to music, but he is also quite the scholar and athlete. He plays first at the Peel Music Festival in several categories, and most recently brought home an award from the Kiwanis Music Festival. At school, he is class president and received the Principal's Award for Achievement. He is also in the Maple Leaf Math Competitions Hall of Fame and ranks in the top 10 in Canada. He also plays hockey and is an avid runner. Brendan will be performing Polonaise in G minor by Chopin. Next performer, Erin, is a two-time recipient of the RCM Gold Medal for Grade 5 Piano and Grade 6 Piano. He also won multiple awards from Peel Music Festival, Kiwanis Music Festival, and he is a lighthearted guy who loves a good joke. In September, he will attend the University of Western to pursue a Bachelor of Music in Piano Performance. Aaron will be performing Sonatina in C minor, Opus 13 by Beethoven.
Our next performer is Olivier Collin. Olivier is a young virtuoso who knew what he wanted at the tender age of three and a half. He picked up the violin half a year later and never looked back. He competed at Kiwanis Music Festival and Peel Music Festival since 2010 and brought home eight awards. Among his favorite composers are Beethoven and Vivaldi. This summer, he will be attending a course in Italy to fine tune his musical talent. Olivier will be performing the third movement of Concerto No. 2 in G major by Seitz. He'll be accompanied by Eugene Bichkov. Our next performer, Jason, is nine and a half years old. He won two scholarships from Peel Music Festival and has won first and second place. He recently scored over 90% on his RCM exams this past January. Jason will be performing Etude in D minor by Heller.
Our next performer, Jonathan, won several scholarships and has placed first at Peel Music Festival and Kiwanis Music Festival for the past two years. He also won Best in Class and the Platinum Awards at Kiwanis Music Festival. Jonathan was a finalist at Ontario Music Festival in 2012, and he will continue to compete again later this month in the provincial finals. Jonathan will be performing Sonatina in C Major by Mozart. performer is Alyssa Law. Alyssa has won a number of scholarships from Peel Music Festival for the past four years and was handpicked to perform at their closing concert. She excelled in her RCM exams from grades 3, 5, and 7, in which she scored over 93 percent. Alyssa is also an accomplished bronze cross swimmer and plans to enjoy the outdoors camping this summer. She will be performing Polonaise in A-flat major by Chopin.
Our next performer is Chris Sang. Chris is a provincial winner from the Ontario Music Festival's competition for a grade 10 guitar and placed first at Peel Music Festival on three occasions. He will be performing Usher Waltz, Opus 29 by Koshkin.
performer, Daphne, was the RCM Gold Medal recipient for Grade 10 Piano. She recently took home awards from Peel Music Festival and Kiwanis Music Festival and participated in the Intermediate Piano Trophy Finals at Kiwanis. She was recently accepted to study piano performance at U of T on a full scholarship and re received the Scholar's Award. Daphne will be performing Scherzo in B minor, Opus 20 by Chopin.
Our next performers are Kubi Chang and Genevieve Dietrich. Kubi won first place at the Kiwanis Music Festival for grade six flute. In the past, she also received awards from Peel Music Festival and Kiwanis. Genevieve was a recipient of the RCM Gold Medal for grade three flute. She also won first place at Peel Music Festival in two categories for grade six flute. They will be performing Flower Duet by Deleeps and accompanied by Alex Katz. Closing our concert is Rashan Alwood. Rashan is a four-time recipient of the RCM Gold Medal and recently received the National RCM Gold Medal for ARCT and piano performance for scoring a perfect 100% on his ARCT exam. He studied at MSOM for over 10 years and just finished his first year at U of T, where he is studying piano performance on a full scholarship. 
Rashaim will be performing Fantasy in F minor, Opus 49 by Chopin.
are deeply humbled that um, our honored guests are here with us to celebrate our 25th anniversary. Thank you, Mr. Ron Lennick, for coming, and the Honorable Hazel McCallion. Uh, we would like to invite Mayor Hazel to come up and say a few words. Thank you very much, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and especially those fine performers. My gracious. You know, it's been an exciting day. I just came from the Hershey Center where uh, squadron, uh, Cadet Squadron 845 performed. And it wasn't just marching and doing different things. You should have seen the band perform. It was outstanding. Not just playing the music, but their performance. It was really sensational. And then to come here, and unfortunately, can't be and hear all the many presentations today. But as Ron and I just, uh, Ron said to me, you know, if we could only publicize all the wonderful things that our young people are doing in music and in sports and etc. It, you know, they're, the good kids are out there doing wonderful things, bringing a lot of joy and satisfaction to a lot of people. They don't get the publicity. The only ones that get publicity are the ones that get into trouble, right? Isn't that awful? It is so negative society when we should be bragging and complimenting, encouraging and promoting the wonderful young people that we have in our city, our province and our country that are doing outstanding, outstanding things in music, sports, etc. And so today is very, very special. I want to thank you for that invitation. I've received many over the years, but I didn't, I've never received one like this. I just showed it to Ron. It is exceptional. You see, that means that people will take the time. I don't know who did it, but whoever did it, who did it? I did it. You did it. I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh, you're right here. Thank you well, so much. Here's an, indi here's an individual. Yeah. It wasn't just an invitation. It was a... Give it to me, Ronald. It's, it's live. <laughs> Almost. Isn't that wonderful? Let me see. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad you see. It. it just shows when people will take the time to do something special, and you have done that. As I say, it's outstanding. Of all invitations I've received, this is the best. No oh, question. Really? Again, a demonstration of young people doing so many great things in our community, etc. That's why that, and uh, Ron Lunnick is chairman of my mayor's golf committee that's raised just over $2 million for the city, and most of it has gone to youth projects. Because really, that's the best investment we can make is in our youth. So, and we need to do it more and more, because as Canada, wants to be remain competitive, then we have to bring our young people along to excel, to excel in so many ways, in music, in art, visual art, as well as performing arts, in sports, etc. And uh, the Mississauga School of Music has certainly made that their contribution. And so today I'm just delighted. Congratulations to the parents. You see, you know and you have invested a lot of time and money in giving your children the opportunity to excel. Isn't that wonderful? I'm sure you're, joy, you're overjoyed with the success of these uh, young people that have performed today. What a future, what a future for art, arts in our city, in our country, and in the world. This young man is going to be the most famous in the world one of these days, right? Why not? Why not? Why can't it be a Canadian? No, we're pretty good. Anyway, I have a certificate to present to you for your 25th anniversary. Poet Bert Hall or Arbach once said, music washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. And my, do we ever need it today in the world. For 25 years, Jenny Gold and the staff from the Mississauga School of Music have been providing quality music education to students. Music 
brings joy to all and moves the soul. And through regular lessons, students learn music appreciation and the importance of practice to achieve excellence. Practice to achieve excellence. That is the key to success in any vocation that you follow. These lessons will last a lifetime. The music school, of, the Mississauga School of Music should be proud to have pro provided 25 years of music education to the community. And ladies and gentlemen, that's why many years ago, I wanted to build this facility to give our young people the opportunity to excel in the arts. That's what it's all about. And I'm so proud that you're here in, in, in this presentation today in the Royal Bank Theater. You've got to have the facility, but you have to have the students. You have to have the young people that want to excel in music. On behalf of members of council and the residents of the city of Mississauga, congratulations on reaching this important milestone, and congratulations to those young people that play, that presented today, fantastic. Your future, if you are committed and prepared to give the time that is required, you will be leaders in music in the world. Think about it. Right here could start right here in the city of Mississauga. Thank you and have a great... <laughs>
and we thought of how we could spend more time with them, instructing them, and so we devised something called dinner time talk. And the third thing, one of the, third, one of the things we also did was uh, the week in review. We told them that they need not be nervous, as many kids are, on report day, because they do not know what's in the report card. But the report is about three people. It's about the teacher, it's about themselves, and it's about their parents. If the teacher gives 100%, and they themselves give 100%, and the parents don't put their 100% in, how can the parents expect 100% out? And so we decided we would give them 100% of our time. We would say no TV for us when they're doing their homework. We would give them our time to assist them with their practice in piano and with their practice with their homework. We also realized that we spend most of our time at the dinner table because when the kids come home from school, as soon as they're finished eating, they rush off to do their homework. So what we did, we brought home examples of things that are happening in life and we would discuss it at the dinner table. We would be the first persons to finish eating. <laughs> so they would be there eating slowly. We would take either very small amount or eat very quickly in order to discuss the things that we thought was very important to them. When we did this, we asked them for response. We needed to hear what they had to say about it. And so we would choose the positive things, which is very important for, us, for, for parents to do. Choose positive role models. It doesn't have to be you. It can be anyone who is doing something wonderful out there. You use them as an example to your child to encourage your child to do well. We also used what we call uh, some positive uh, affirmation. That is, any award they received, we show them how important it is to us. We would try to, uh, if it is in the form of a certificate or a diploma, we will try to um, have it custom framed and we hang it on the walls in the house. It serves two purposes. Remember when they leave your home, they go out to, to school and they hear all, a lot of negative stuff. When they come back home, they see all these wonderful things that they did and we hope it reminds them of what they achieved. We also placed one on the wall at the foot of their bed. It is the last thing they see before they go to sleep and it's the first thing they see when they awake. We have had the fortunate opportunity to take them to school and to bring them home. And so we asked them, what did you do in school? Or we said, how was school? And the first thing they say, as all kids say, oh, school is good. I said, sure, school is never bad. But what did you do? And we explained why we asked that question. The reason is if you can tell us what you did in school, there may be something you did not remember very well or you did not understand very well either. We are here to help you with that. And you will remember it when you go through the process, right through the day explaining to us what you did. And it worked very well. Our next step was what we call the week in review. At the end of the week, we would meet with the kids and say to them, what is it that you did this week that we can improve on for next week so you don't make the same mistake? And this we did on a weekend. And it's amazing what you would hear the kids say. And it's amazing what you can do to help them to be successful in their lives. I'm very happy, and my wife is right here with, with me tonight, and so is Yannick, he's somewhere in the audience there. They both attended Mississauga School of Music. They have done very well in this community, and they have done very well in their music, and we are very proud of what they have done. And I'm sure all your parents here are very proud of what your children have done. We can only move forward if we give them positive affirmation. And finally, I must say something to the young people who are 
in college, high school, or university, remember your parents. Whatever problems you have or whatever the situation is, keep them in the loop. Do not leave them behind. Your peers are your own age. They only know what you know. Your parents know what you know, what your peers know, and a lot more because they have traveled that road before. Once you keep your parents in the loop, they will be always there to defend you. Remember this, doctors get paid, teachers get paid, firemen, policemen, nurses, preachers, they all get paid. Many of them go on strike. Your parents don't go on strike and they don't get paid. So with that, keep your parents close to you because at the end of the day, when you reap the success, you are the one receiving the accolades and the praise and everything. Your parents are in the background. But if you mess up, your parents are the ones who are caught in the limelight and the media is at them saying, what did, what did they not do to get you up there? So keep your parents very close to you. Thank you very much. Now it's time to invite the head honcho herself, MSOM director and founder, Jenny Go, for her director's address. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, parents, students, oh, most important, our mayor. Oh, <laughs> okay, and uh, Mr. Rong Lennick. Thank you for coming. This is my big day. You all make my dream come true. Because a long time ago, I dreamed to have a good school. Why I dream about that? Because I, when I was small, I must mention my elder sister, Professor Yang. She's over there. I want to thank you, her. She was my first teacher. Do you believe your own sister can teach you well? She's so patient. She teach me when I was small, but she was patient, but I was the one get mad. I was the one running away, but she still did sitting there. So she's all, I always thank you, thank you for her. And she teach me until I enter into the Shanghai Conservatory of Music. That's a very, very difficult to enter that school because over a thousand people went for audition. So they each year only accept about 40 students. So I got six year training. So because those six year training, uh, I make me feel that I want to have a school like that too. But the dream never come. I went, after I went to Hong Kong, I was thinking to get a school. Oh, my sister drew me a picture, called me Principal Young. That was my maiden name. So that means I didn't get a music school, right? Because right, right now my name is Jenny Go. So after I came to Canada, so I still dream of to have a school because there are so many schools around, but I don't think they have a good teacher. I dream about I must have a good school with good teacher like the Shanghai Conservatory Music. So 25 years ago, oh, the chance come. I got a small place and I really don't know what to do. So do you know what I do, the first thing? First thing, I pray. I pray God give me wisdom because I I know I myself, I'm not a smart person. I'm very, my sister usually call me scary cat. So I pray, but it came. God will teach me how to do. And then I say, I must hire a good teacher because a school should be a school. So I got my first teacher, 
with music degree. I say, whoever I hire a teacher, they must have music degree. And second thing, they must be a good person. They must be patient, good person. So all our teachers in our school, they are qualified teachers with a music degree, and they are good people, good persons. So I want to thank you, all my teachers. Can all my teachers attend today's concert stand up? We want to give you a big hand. Thank you, uh, wonderful teachers. And I was looking at the program today. I, all the student, all the teacher who teach the student, they are with our school at least 15 years to 25 years in our school. So they are so devoted to our students. So that's why our students can play so well. You imagine if every year you have changed teacher a few months, some school they have a few months, they change so many teachers. The kids will never learn good. So the first thing, our school, because we have good teachers. And second thing, because we have good parents. The parents of those students, they are, I always see them drive the kids to school, wait for them, and then drive them back. And the kids here, they are so good behaved. So because they have good parents, they care. So let's give all the parents a big hand. And third thing, because we have a good student, of course. You look at their playing. Do you enjoy their playing? Yeah. Give them another big hand. So I want to tell all the students, you make my dream come true. Because I dream the school is like that, performed like this. Thank you very, very much. And I enjoy every one of you. So another thing what I have to say is, of course, I have to thank you, my family. My older daughter, Madeline, where are you, Madeline? Yeah, Madeline. She has do all the she has to do all the paperwork every morning. And afternoon, she has to teach. She has one student perform today too. Okay, thank you, Madeline. And then the second one, of course, my younger daughter, right? She spends so much work. <laughs> Although I don't pay her. <laughs> I need a raise. <laughs> and then when she's prepared all those work, I was so touched because she's with tables with all the paper. She said, oh, I love my job. I love my job. I was so happy to hear that. And she and then look at this nice uh, banner. It's her design too. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Malina. And uh, she arranged everything. So people was asking me, Jenny, you must be very busy for this concert. I said, no, Malina is doing. <laughs> so thank you, Malina. And uh, she's the designer. So wherever you need any advice, go and ask her. Oh, she started doing her blog. And she said, I don't know what's a computer. She's doing computer. So she will teach you how to do. If you want something, ask her. I always tell her she should do some teaching, but she refused. So maybe this is the best chance to tell her. Start teaching people. Don't waste it. OK. OK, before I forget to mention someone else. Who? It's my husband. <laughs> He's over there. OK. He's doing so much work at the school. Some, sometimes some teacher tell me, oh, Jenny, without Mr. Go, it won't work. He's from cleaning to change the light, anything. OK, he do anything. He's so busy. But I tell you one secret. When your husband is working, don't look at him. <laughs> he can do so much work. Just don't look at him. Leave him alone. So he's so busy. He's the most busy of our four of us, he's the most busy. So thank you very much, Mr. Go. <laughs> but 
I have to thank you, my aunt. She's not here because she's 95 years old. She's the one tell me marry him. Is that? <laughs> but I have the flower, flower for her later <laughs> to bring home. Okay, so I think that's all. Oh, most important, forget. Today, I also celebrate our church choir. I pray in the church choir for 25 years. Since I start this school, I promise God I will play for that choir. And I enjoy every Friday night the practice and our church choir member, where are you? They are all here. Are you here? Please stand up. They are all here, I think they're up there. So thank you very much because they love me so much. They call me Dai Jie, Dai Jie, because Dai Jie means big sister. So they know that I'm young in heart. I always say I'm 21 years old. Yeah. So they call me Dai Jie. But that's good. When you think you are young, you are young. When you think you are old, you are old. So never think, oh, that word. You always say I'm young all the time. So I will learn from our mayor. I will have another 25 years to go. I'm 21 right now. Okay, thank you. And then again, I want to thank you for coming. And also, oh, you see that we have a little paper there. I got a phone call from the newspaper. We got nominated again for the best music school. So we always voted number one. So one more week, you start voting. So don't forget to vote us again. We'll be number one again. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, right now is the award time. I hand it to Malina. We would like to invite our students to come up and receive awards for their performances and for all their accomplishments. We'll start with Margaret Lamb. Michelle Jin. Angelica and Annabella. Iris Hu. Rocco Dado. Stephanie Cow. Philia Rama. Sabrina Tasson, Rachel Liu, Charles Chu, Brendan Lee, Aaron Khan. Olivier Collin. Jason Zhang. Jonathan Lanson. Alyssa Law. Chris Singh. Daphne Ko. Kubi Cheng. Genevieve Dietrich.
Rashan Alwood. Now's a good time for a photo op.